Hey everybody, Slay here. As you see in front of you, I'm going to be taking out my RV-17. Uh, I have not done a lot of videos on this plane just because of the fact that it is a really dirty plane to play. Um, but it does one thing great and that is printing credits. Um, absolutely. So with this plane, um, I like to pretty much put into action everything that I use to make me a better player in this game. Not saying I'm the best, but there are certain things you can do to make yourself better. Um, and one of the main things I use is something I learned in the military uh, through our training. It's called the OODA loop. Sounds really funny. Uh, it's otherwise known as the uh, Boyd cycle. But the OODA loop is observe, orient, decide, and act. So by observing, what that's speaking of is look around you, see what caps need to be taking, see what map you're on, see who's in the cap, see who's coming towards you, know your health, know your, your payload, and how many bombs you have left. Okay, I have three sets of bombs that I can drop, so I'm going to choose three sets of targets before I get over something, right? Or maybe I'm just going to decide to dump all my bombs on, you know, maybe two, two rounds of bombs on one target to ensure that I cap it, such as the middle of a mining plan. So with that said, that's observe. Now, orient. You need to see what's around you. So again, you are observing everything around you, you see someone coming, you are orienting towards them. You're going to make a decision. Again, decide. That's the D in Ulu. Then you're going to decide, okay, I'm going to fly towards this individual and either A, I'm going to try and blow past them or I'm going to try and fly away, right? Either way, you're going to have to deal with someone who's coming to kill you in a bomber and then you're going to have to act which way you're going to go. So we took that mining plant super fast and now I am observing you know I'm orienting myself to their mining plant I see that it's not capped yet how can I you know basically ruin their day at their mining plant um, but one thing you want to be doing in the the RB17 for sure is don't ever just waste your payload if you're flying to a target always and I mean always fly through a target don't ever just fly over that open ground you're a waste you're wasting your time if you're flying over the open ground you need to be cutting through things that need to be taken my end game here was get to their mining plant, but I flew through that garrison, dropped some bombs, it helped take it quicker. So with this, I see, okay, if they take the middle, they're gonna have this cap. So I need to just drop everything. I drop all my payload in the middle. Yes, that's probably overkill on the bombs, but there's nothing worse than uh, missing one, one building and feeding it to your enemy, right? So I ensure, okay, yes, we took everything there, and now I'm just gonna kind of fly, fly over it. I have a little bit of a harder time here because I'm already at half health, just about. AA is kind of focused me, and as you, if you notice, I'm not flying that high. Usually, you know, a high altitude bomber will take around 4,000 uh, meters, which is going to put it in the red, but you just fly around 3980, and you're pretty much safe from anything around you. Or you have the low flying people who could fly at like 400 meters and just kind of ruin everybody's day. There's, yeah, those are annoying as well. Uh, me, myself, I don't really like to fly too low because I like to not worry about ramming mountains when I'm in my bomb site. But with that said, I'm here, I am taking this mining plant, and again, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be looking everywhere around me. So as you see, okay, they are starting to push that mining plant back, but ultimately my goal here is to slow down their capping of that point. Because if you look at the score, we're getting our mining plant ticks, they're not. So if I could, even if I just sat here all game and we never took it, I'm still going to win because we already have our mining plant and we're in the lead. Um, so you just, you know, if you have to be over a target and you never take it, that's not a problem, to be honest with you. I sat over a command center one game. I got something like 18,000 points in it in my RB and we never took it. Um, okay, now you look. I'm at low health. I see a couple things coming to me, namely this 209A. One thing people forget with the RB is you have four guns and you have more hit points than everybody. So I kind of make a, a rash decision there. I decide to fly right through that ME 209, use my forward gun. Uh, but one thing, if you see what I'm doing now, I am escaping that mining plant. I don't want to undo my progress by dying in the cap. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm running away full speed outside the cap. Now that I'm out, I know I'm about to die and that's fine. I don't even use the uh, the flight surface repair there. I just say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna die, perfect. So you wanna get back to respawning as quick as you can. I go kind of crazy mashing the, uh, the battle button here, um, but it is what it is. So my first target, once I get back, obviously is gonna be going back to that mining plant and 
trying to finish what we started. Uh, it looks like, you know, it's 75% through, only have one building left to capture. So I'm on my way back there, and then I realize, okay, my team's about to take this. Uh, I believe it flips halfway there, and I automatically, okay, now I'm lined up to my another end game uh, target, which would be that southern garrison. But going through to the south, I'm going to fly through the middle. So I orient myself to the south, aim towards the middle, find three targets, and just use my payload. Um, I don't think that I would be able to knock out all those tents, so I just kind of drop everything here and push on. But again, you will, can do stuff versus air defense aircraft. So you want to nose down, use your tail gunner, go straight. I kill that tail gunner, and my team ends up finishing the cap for me, which gives us the fourth cap. We're already in such a lead that I don't think even if we didn't take that cap, it would make a difference, especially having both mining plants. But, you know, it's all about making credits and how fast you can make the credits, right? So going in here, lined up three targets. Um, I always like to have a, just a straight line of targets. So here we go. Drop my first round, second round, and then I'm on that last building. Drop my last round. Immediately after I drop those rounds, I hear my uh, gun going off. That means something's on my tail, obviously. Getting shot up here. Start hauling ass outside. First thing I was going for was J4M, then the LA, and then here's the player 262. Always want to sit there and re reorient your guns to whatever is going to, you know, basically make you the most money. Uh, me killing that 262, that finished the last cap, that gave us superiority. We win. So I know that's a lot, kind of a crash course on what the OODA loop is, but again, it is observe, orient, decide, and act. It's basically trying to raise your level of situational awareness in this game. And if you are always aware of the space around you, if you're always aware of what planes you have facing and what's coming at you, your health, your ordnance, etc., you're just going to be an overall better player. So my goal with my channel is to hopefully give you guys something that you can pull from it and make yourself better. Um, I'm not saying I'm the best, but I've learned things from worse players and I've learned things from better players. So if you could pull something from my videos, great. I hope it helps. So I was able to make a quick uh, 300k uh, credits right there, which is pretty outstanding. <laughs> I mean, 300k credits in an 8 minute match is beautiful. 79,000 damage, 4 sectors, four sectors captured, uh, even though I feel like I took 5 there, but I wasn't in that last one, I believe. No, I dropped bombs in that last one, so I don't know why I didn't get that last capture. But either way, 300k, 300k credits for 8 minutes, not too bad. My score is just shy of a wing legend. Pretty much dwarfed everybody else in the game, but shout out to everybody who was in that game with me. Um, yeah, the RB-17 is definitely the worst thing you want to be, uh, not face in this game. Uh, it's got a 23 for a rear turret and a 23 for a forward gun. The rear turret is actually stronger, more DPS than the forward gun. <laughs> uh, I run bomb sight, engine tuning, and the turret stabilization. My end game one day would be to uh, basically get my, my gunner skill so it has the range and the, uh, the crit skill on it, uh, but it's going to take a lot of XP for that. But again guys, that was the RB-17, thank you for watching, I hope you could pull something from this video. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys every day, uh, but again, thank you for watching, you guys have a good day, bye.